<laughs> yeah, yeah! Discover a world where rarity meets fascination as we introduce you to the 20 rarest snakes on the planet. From their mesmerizing patterns to their elusive habitats, these serpents defy the ordinary. But don't let their uniqueness deceive you, should fear still linger. Join us on a captivating journey as we unravel the secrets behind these extraordinary creatures and delve into the enigma of whether their rarity warrants trepidation. Brace yourself for an unforgettable encounter with the extraordinary, the 20 rarest snakes in the world. Number 20. Red Spitting Cobra. The Elapidae family includes the Red Spitting Cobra, or Naja Pallida. It is most widespread in Sub-Saharan Africa, specifically Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Sudan. This species' popular name derives from its distinctive reddish-brown coloring. Red spitting cobras are medium-sized snakes that can grow to be one and a half meters in length. Their body is long and slender and their head is short and broad. Their eyes are huge and they feature venom delivery fangs at the front of their upper jaw. The ability of the red spitting cobra to spit poison as a protective mechanism is one of its most conspicuous traits. When threatened, these snakes may project venom from their fangs into the eyes of their predators. If the venom comes into contact with the eyes, it can cause significant discomfort, inflammation, and even temporary or permanent blindness. Rodents, frogs, lizards, and other small vertebrates are the primary prey of the red-spitting cobra. It is primarily nocturnal and terrestrial. However, it can climb trees and shrubs if necessary. It inhabits a variety of habitats, including savannas, grasslands, and woodland areas. In terms of reproduction, the red-spitting cobra is oviparous, meaning it lays eggs. Females typically lay clutches of 10 to 20 eggs in hidden locations, such as in holes or beneath vegetation. The incubation period lasts for several months, and the female does not provide parental care once the eggs are laid. As a venomous snake, the red-spitting cobra possesses potent neurotoxic venom, which affects the nervous system of its prey. The venom can also be dangerous to humans, causing symptoms such as severe pain, swelling, and potentially life-threatening complications if left untreated. In areas where the species is prevalent, snake bite envenomation by the red-spitting cobra is a significant concern, and proper medical treatment is essential. Number 19. Antiguan Racer. Next up is a non-venomous snake that is considered to be one of the world's rarest. With a small population and limited distribution, the Antiguan Racer is critically endangered and faces numerous threats to its survival. The Antiguan racer is a small snake, about 45 to 70 centimeters in length. It has a thin body with smooth scales that range in color from grayish brown to olive green. The eyes are big and round, and the head is long and slender. This species is predominantly found in Antigua in dry forests, coastal scrublands, and rocky environments. It is a diurnal snake that hunts lizards and small rodents during the day. The Antiguan racer is a proficient climber and quick on the ground, capturing prey with speed and stealth. The Antiguan racer population has declined dramatically owing to a variety of circumstances. The destruction and degradation of habitat, mostly caused by agriculture, urbanization, and invasive species, have significantly reduced its available habitat. Introduced predators such as mongoose and rats pose a significant threat to both adult snakes and their eggs. Additionally, illegal collection for the pet trade has further contributed to the decline of this species. Conservation efforts have been undertaken to protect the Antiguan racer and prevent its extinction. The Antigua and Barbuda Department of the Environment, in collaboration with international conservation organizations, has implemented programs to restore and protect the snake's habitat. These initiatives focus on habitat restoration, captive breeding, and the eradication of invasive species. Number 18. Ornate Ground Snake Erythrolamprus ornatus, commonly known as the ornate ground snake or the St. Lucia racer, is a species of non-venomous snake belonging to the family Dipsidae. Endemic to the Caribbean island of St. Lucia, this snake exhibits remarkable characteristics and holds significance in the region's biodiversity. The ornate ground snake is relatively small, with adults typically measuring around 60 to 90 centimeters in length. It possesses a slender body and a distinctively shaped head, which aids in hunting and maneuvering through the forest floor. 
The snake's coloration is variable, but generally consists of a combination of shades of brown, black, and cream, with intricate patterns of speckles and spots along its body. As its common name suggests, the ornate ground snake primarily inhabits terrestrial habitats such as rainforests, dry forests, and plantations. It is a diurnal species, being most active during the day, and is known for its agility and speed. As an adept climber, it can also be found in trees and shrubs, often hunting for prey. Feeding predominantly on small vertebrates, the diet of Erythrolampris ornatus includes lizards, frogs, and occasionally small mammals. The St. Lucia racer is oviparous, meaning it lays eggs rather than giving birth to live young. After mating, females deposit their eggs in hidden locations, such as leaf litter or rotting logs, where they are protected from potential predators. The eggs hatch after an incubation period, giving rise to independent miniature versions of the adult snakes. Erythrolampris ornatus plays an important ecological role in St. Lucia by controlling populations of small vertebrates and participating in nutrient cycling through the consumption of organic matter. Number 17. Rainbow Snake the Ferrancia erythrogramma, commonly known as the rainbow snake, is a species of non-venomous colubrid snake native to the southeastern United States. It is known for its striking appearance and vibrant colors, which have earned it the name rainbow snake. The species is primarily found in aquatic habitats, such as swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams. Measuring an average length of 3 to 5 feet, the rainbow snake is a slender and elongated reptile. Its body is characterized by a glossy, iridescent sheen, reflecting hues of red, orange, yellow, and black. The scales on its back are smooth and arranged in distinct patterns, creating a visually captivating display. Rainbow snakes are highly skilled swimmers, equipped with flattened tails and bodies that enable efficient movement through water. They possess specialized adaptations for an aquatic lifestyle, including valves in their nostrils that allow them to close their nostrils while submerged. This enables them to breathe air while hunting or navigating underwater. Feeding primarily on amphibians and small aquatic species, the rainbow snake is an adept predator. It uses constriction to overpower its prey, wrapping its body around the captured animal and squeezing until it becomes incapacitated. Their diet consists of frogs, tadpoles, salamanders, and occasionally small fish. Breeding behavior in rainbow snakes typically occurs in the spring and early summer. Due to its secretive nature and preference for aquatic habitats, the rainbow snake is often challenging to observe in the wild. Habitat loss, pollution, and alteration of water bodies pose significant threats to its survival. As a result, the species is listed as a species of concern in some states within its range and is protected by various conservation measures. The rainbow snake, with its vibrant colors and aquatic adaptations, remains a fascinating and elusive species. Number 16. Round Island Burrowing Boa The Round Island Burrowing Boa, or Bolieria multocarinata, is a non-venomous snake species endemic to Round Island, a small islet located near Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. It is a member of the family Bolieridae, which consists of only two species of boas, the Round Island Burrowing Boa being one of them. This species is considered critically endangered, with a small and declining population. The Round Island Burrowing Boa is known for its distinctive appearance and behavior. It has a stout body, reaching lengths of up to one and a half meters. Its coloration varies, ranging from pale gray to brown with dark blotches along its body. This boa possesses small eyes and a relatively short tail. Its name, Burrowing Boa, reflects its primary habitat preference as it is adept at digging and spends much of its time underground. The Round Island Burrowing Boa was confined to a remarkably tiny area, spanning just one and a half square kilometers. Its natural habitats encompassed hardwood forests and palm savannas. Historically, this species was documented on Gunner's Coin, Flat Island, Round Island, and Ile de la Passe in Mauritius. However, its presence endured the longest on Round Island, where the most recent recorded sightings took place. It is worth noting that the type locality is erroneously mentioned as Port Jackson. These boas are primarily nocturnal, emerging at night to forage for their prey. They feed on small vertebrates such as geckos, skinks, and frogs. Their ability to subdue larger prey is facilitated by their strong jaws and constriction technique. Due to its insular habitat, 
The Round Island burrowing boa has a limited diet and has adapted to the scarcity of resources. The reproductive strategy of Bolieria multocarinata involves egg laying. A typical clutch of this species consisted of approximately five eggs. Number 15. Aruba Island Rattlesnake The Aruba Island Rattlesnake, scientifically known as Crotalus unicolor, is a captivating venomous pit viper species endemic to the picturesque Caribbean island of Aruba, situated off the coast of Venezuela. While some classifications still consider it a subspecies of Crotalus dorissus, it possesses unique characteristics that set it apart. In terms of size, this species is considered moderately sized, typically reaching an adult length of around 90 centimeters, with an average weight of approximately one kilogram. Its coloration varies from light brown and tan to even pinkish hues, mirroring the soil tones of its natural habitat. Darker brown, diamond-shaped markings adorn its body, although they can sometimes be faint, appearing as a subtle stripe down the middle of its back. As an endemic species, the Aruba Island rattlesnake is exclusively found on the island of Aruba, further adding to its allure. It thrives in thorn scrub and desert environments, primarily occupying the southeastern region of the island. Sadly, the conservation status of these remarkable snakes is cause for concern. With an estimated wild population of around 230 individuals, their existence is threatened by encroaching human development. Only approximately 25 square kilometers of undeveloped land remain, making the Aruba Island rattlesnake one of the rarest rattlesnake species worldwide. When it comes to their diet, these snakes display a varied appetite, consuming a range of prey including rodents, birds, and lizards. Males typically reach maturity in four years, while females take five years. After a gestation period of four months, female snakes give birth to impressive litters of live young, numbering between five and 15 individuals. Number 14, Javan Mud Snake. Now let's talk about the extraordinary Xenodermis javanicus, a captivating serpent known by various intriguing monikers such as the dragon snake, Javan tubercle snake, Javan mud snake, or rough-backed litter snake. This small, non-venomous wonder belongs to the remarkable monotypic genus Xenodermis, making it truly one of a kind. With its distinctive dorsal scales and a captivating defense mechanism, Xenodermis javanicus has stolen the spotlight in the snake kingdom. When faced with danger, this creature has the astonishing ability to stiffen its entire body, creating an awe-inspiring sight to behold. No wonder it has earned the reputation as a true master of self-preservation. Under the cloak of darkness, X. javanicus emerges as a nocturnal hunter, seeking sustenance in the form of frogs, tadpoles, and small fish. Its appetite for aquatic delicacies sets it apart from its serpentine counterparts and adds to the allure of this enigmatic species. While it is notorious for its fragility and captivity, a select few herpeticulturists have managed to unlock the secrets to its successful keeping. Spanning across the Malay Peninsula, including Malaysia, Thailand, and the southernmost tip of Myanmar, as well as the greater Sunda Islands of Sumatra, Java, and Borneo. X. Javanicus claims its dominion in damp realms near water. From forests and swamps to marshes and rice fields, it thrives at elevations below 1,300 meters, though it most commonly inhabits the sweet spot between 500 to 11 meters above sea level. A visual feast for the eyes, Xenodermis javanicus possesses a slender, compressed body adorned with a distinct head and a long tail. With a modest total length of approximately 50 centimeters, this creature showcases elegance in its simplicity. To the keen observer, males showcase relatively smaller size, tail features, and a hemipenal bulge, while females exhibit larger sizes, different tails, and no bulge. In the realm of behavior, Xenodermis javanicus continues to bewilder and fascinate. When threatened, it deploys its awe-inspiring defense strategy, locking its entire body into a rigid stance, leaving adversaries in awe of its fortitude. To further deter potential threats, it releases a potent, musky odor that lingers in the air. These behaviors add to the mystique and allure of this remarkable serpent. Number 13. Tiger Keelback Snake Introducing the fascinating tiger keelback snake, scientifically known as Rhabdophis tigrinus. This venomous serpent, also nicknamed the Kotbame, or Yamakagashi, belongs to the subfamily Natricinae in the family Colubridae. 
Native to the enchanting landscapes of East Asia and Southeast Asia, this slithery species has captivated the attention of herpetologists and nature enthusiasts alike. While the International Taxonomic Information System, ITIS, may not acknowledge it, many sources recognize the Taiwanese subspecies, Rhabdophis tigrinus formosanus, with its olive drab green hue adorned by striking black and vibrant orange crossbars or spots spanning from the neck to the first third of its body, our tigrinus is a visual spectacle. Its whitish belly provides a captivating contrast to its dorsal coloration. Typically measuring between 60 to 100 centimeters in total length, including the tail, this snake boasts a modest yet impressive size. Spanning a diverse range of territories, Rhabdophis tigrinus can be found in various regions. From eastern Russia, including Primorsky and Khabarovsk, to both North and South Korea, and from widespread areas of China, excluding the western third and extreme south to Taiwan, Vietnam, and Japan, this species has claimed its niche. Feeding on a diet primarily composed of small vertebrates, particularly frogs and toads, our tigrinus employs its keen senses to locate its prey. Combining both chemical cues, utilizing its sense of smell and tongue and visual stimuli, this cunning predator ensures a successful hunt. What sets the tiger keelback apart is its unique defensive behavior. Equipped with two rows of specialized glands in its neck, it possesses a formidable defense mechanism against potential predators. These glands release steroidal toxins acquired from consuming poisonous toads, a remarkable adaptation known as kleptotoxicism. Interestingly, when faced with cooler temperatures, our tigrinus tends to adopt a passive anti-predator response. It flattens its neck and body, remaining motionless to deter threats. In contrast, when confronted with warmer temperatures, it more frequently opts for a swift escape. This intriguing behavior suggests that the snake relies heavily on the deterrence provided by its glands at lower ambient temperatures. Number 12. San Francisco Garter Snake The endangered San Francisco Garter Snake, a captivating subspecies of the common garter snake, calls California its home. With its slender frame and vibrant multicolored pattern, it has caught the attention of researchers and conservationists. Found in limited areas of San Mateo County and northern Santa Cruz County, efforts are underway to safeguard its habitat. Roughly 1 to 2,000 adult snakes remain, but the full extent of their range is still being explored. Thriving in wet and marshy habitats, these elusive snakes prove difficult to spot or capture. Their striking appearance features keeled scales of blue-green, adorned with black, red, and blue-green stripes. With their narrower heads and large eyes, they are active during the day. While their venomless bites are harmless to humans, their presence serves as a reminder of the need to protect our unique wildlife. This striking snake thrives in densely vegetated ponds near open hillsides, where it can bask in the sun, find cover in rodent burrows, and feast on its favorite prey. While it favors ponds with emergent and bankside vegetation such as cattails, bulrushes, and spike rushes for cover, it can also adapt to less suitable habitats, including forests with dense canopies and temporary ponds. Adult snakes primarily feed on the federally threatened California red-legged frog, while newborns and juveniles heavily rely on Pacific tree frogs as their main prey. Interestingly, this snake possesses a remarkable ability to consume the toxic California newt without experiencing any ill effects. The San Francisco garter snake has gone through some taxonomic debates, but has now retained its subspecies status as Tetratinia. It coexists with two other garter snake subspecies, the coastal garter snake and the Santa Cruz garter snake, which have slightly different dietary preferences. Number 11. Albany Adder the elusive Albany adder, Betis albanica, previously regarded as a subspecies of Bytis cornuta, is a venomous viper species that holds a restricted range in the eastern and southern regions of Cape Province, South Africa. This small adder has been a rarity to the point of potential extinction until a glimmer of hope emerged when four live specimens and one unfortunate roadkill were discovered between late 2016 and early 2017. Since its initial discovery in 1937, a mere 12 individuals of this captivating species have been identified. Distinguished by its lack of the characteristic horns found in the nominate race, the Albany adder boasts prominent bumps over its eyes. 
Its coloration varies from brown to reddish brown, with some individuals lacking the distinct pattern exhibited by the typical form. Males have been recorded with a maximum snout to vent length of 11 inches, while females reach up to almost 9 inches. Commonly known as the Albany Adder, Eastern Hornsman Adder, or Eastern Many-Horned Adder, this enigmatic serpent's distribution is limited to the eastern and southern Cape Province of South Africa. The type locality includes notable areas such as the Dean in Port Elizabeth, Addo, as well as dry scrub districts near Grahamstown like Brackkloof, Farm Springvale, and Kleinport near committees in the eastern Cape Province of South Africa. The Albany Adder's unique presence in the natural world beckons for further exploration and conservation efforts to safeguard its future. Number 10. Rimrock Crowned Snake Meet the elusive Rimrock Crowned Snake, a charming resident of enchanting southern Florida. This endangered and non-venomous species, named after the remarkable Miami Rim Rock land arrangement, is a true gem of biodiversity. Don't let its diminutive size deceive you, as it rarely exceeds 20 centimeters in length. With its jet black head and a delightful tan or beige body, this snake is a sight to behold. It gracefully slithers through its natural habitat, which includes pine flatwoods, tropical hardwood hammocks, and even suburban areas. Occasionally, you may find it seeking refuge in limestone crevices or under lush foliage. The rimrock crowned snake has an eclectic palate, feasting on spiders, centipedes, worms, insects, their larvae, and even scorpions. However, caution is advised, as centipedes have been known to pose a mortal danger to these petite serpents. Sadly, this marvelous species faces numerous challenges. Habitat loss and restricted range have earned it a spot on the IUCN Red List since 2007. Miami's rapid urbanization has led to the fragmentation of its pine rock lands, which now only occupy a mere 2% of their historical range. Furthermore, severe storms threaten populations near the Keys with devastating flooding. Number 9. Saharan Horned Viper the Saharan Horned Viper, scientifically known as Sarastes sarastes, is a venomous snake species found in the deserts of northern Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Levant. It is recognized for its distinctive supraorbital horns above each eye, although hornless individuals also exist. This viper has an average length of 30 to 60 centimeters, with females being larger than males. The coloration of the Saharan Horned Viper blends with its surroundings, typically exhibiting a yellowish, pale gray, pinkish, reddish, or pale brown ground color. Dark blotches run along the length of its body, sometimes forming crossbars. The belly is white, and the tail is usually thin, possibly with a black tip. This species is known by various common names, including Desert Sidewinding Horned Viper, Saharan Horned Viper, Desert Horned Viper, North African Horned Viper, and Sahara Horned Viper. It inhabits dry, sandy areas with sparse rock outcroppings, avoiding coarse sand. These vipers are often found in Iraq, Syria, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Jordan, Israel, Kuwait, Libya, Egypt, and Sudan. There have also been reports of a member of this species found in Pakistan. The Saharan Horned Viper is a side-winding snake that moves by pressing its weight into the sand, leaving whole body impressions. They strike rapidly when approaching prey and hold on to it until the venom takes effect. Reproduction in this species occurs through oviparity. The females lay 8 to 23 eggs, which are incubated for 50 to 80 days. The hatchlings measure about 5 to 6 inches in total length. The venom of Sarastes sarastes is similar in action to that of the Echis genus. Envenomation typically causes swelling, hemorrhage, necrosis, nausea, vomiting, and hematuria. The venom contains phospholipase A2, which can result in cardiotoxicity and myotoxicity. Number 8. Blue Coral Snake Introducing the mesmerizing blue coral snake, a captivating creature that slithers through the lush landscapes of Southeast Asia. This enigmatic serpent, scientifically known as Calliophus bivergatus, enchants both snake enthusiasts and casual observers alike with its striking appearance and intriguing behaviors. With a range spanning Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, and Burma, this terrestrial marvel graces a variety of habitats, thriving at elevations of 100 to 1100 meters. Three distinct subspecies exist, each adding its own touch of uniqueness to the snake's already captivating allure. 
The blue coral snake boasts a medium-sized frame and a slender physique, capable of reaching lengths of up to 1.8 meters. Its vivid red head, tail, and belly contrast elegantly with the dark blue to black coloring that adorns its back. Notably, this mesmerizing serpent often displays large blue or white stripes on its flanks, further enhancing its ethereal beauty. However, appearances can be deceiving, as the blue coral snake possesses potent venom. While it shares a resemblance to its non-venomous counterpart, the pink-headed reed snake, the blue coral snake's lethal nature sets it apart. Its venom, uniquely equipped with an extraordinary cytotoxin called calliotoxin, induces rapid paralysis by blocking sodium channels in its victims. These specialized venom glands, extending a significant quarter of its body length, add to its deadly efficiency. Interestingly, the blue coral snake exhibits fascinating behaviors when threatened. It typically opts for a quick retreat but may bravely hold its ground, raising its vibrant red tail as a warning signal. In the realm of its diet, this species displays a penchant for other venomous snakes, making it a formidable predator within its habitat. Number 7. The Golden Lancehead The Golden Lancehead, scientifically known as Bothrops insularis, is a highly venomous pit viper species found exclusively on Ilha da Queimada Grande, also known as Snake Island, off the coast of Sao Paulo, Brazil. It is one of the deadliest snakes in Latin America. This species gets its name from its light yellowish-brown underside and the characteristic lance-shaped head shared by all snakes in the Bothrops genus. Golden lance heads can grow up to 46 inches in length and have a color pattern of pale yellowish-brown with dorsal blotches. Their venom is extremely potent, particularly against the island's native prey species, and is considered one of the fastest-acting venoms in the Bothrops genus. Due to its isolated habitat and lack of human presence, there have been no officially reported cases of human bites. However, envenomation by lanceheads in general can be fatal, causing severe symptoms such as swelling, pain, nausea, bleeding, organ failure, and tissue necrosis. Golden lanceheads reproduce through live birth, with an average litter size of more than six newborns. The snake's reproductive cycle is believed to be influenced by the seasonal migration patterns of birds, which serve as their primary food source. The geographic range of the golden lancehead is limited to Queimada Grande Island, a small subtropical or tropical moist forest habitat with rocky terrain and no human or mammal population. The island is protected, and travel to it is strictly prohibited. Golden lanceheads can be found in trees while hunting or seeking shelter in leaf litter or rock crevices. This elusive species faces numerous threats and challenges. With a limited geographic distribution and a small population size, it is particularly vulnerable to habitat destruction and overcollecting. The island's ecosystem, including the population of B. insularis, is threatened by fires started for agricultural purposes and habitat degradation caused by human activities. Additionally, inbreeding within the small population leads to reproductive health issues, such as intersex individuals and reduced fertility. Despite its challenges, the golden lancehead exhibits fascinating hunting behavior, primarily preying on perching birds and displaying unique adaptations like keeping its prey in its mouth. Although more research is needed, understanding and conserving this remarkable snake is crucial for its survival. Number 6. Paradise Tree Snake Behold the stunning Paradise Tree Snake, an aerial marvel found in Southeast Asia. This extraordinary species, known as Chrysopelia paradisi, defies convention with its limbless form and mesmerizing gliding abilities. From moist forests, it gracefully launches itself from treetops, covering over 10 meters in a single glide. Slow-motion footage reveals its undulating body in flight, showcasing remarkable control. The snake's unique kinematics contribute to its aerial finesse, using anchored J-loop takeoffs, a triangular body shape, and graceful undulations. Mildly venomous with constricting capabilities, it preys on lizards and bats. This remarkable creature spreads its wings across Thailand, Cambodia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Sulawesi, and Bangladesh. As it soars through the skies, the paradise tree snake captivates our senses, defying gravity's limits. Its elegance echoes the unparalleled beauty of our world's biodiversity, reminding us of nature's awe-inspiring wonders. Number 5. Malagasy Leaf-Nosed Snake 
Meet the enigmatic Langaha madagascariensis, a fascinating species also known as the Madagascar, or Malagasy leaf-nosed snake. This medium-sized arboreal creature thrives in the lush forests of Madagascar, where it cleverly conceals itself among the foliage, usually perched 1.5 to 2 meters above the ground. With a maximum length of 1 meter, the Malagasy leaf-nosed snake boasts remarkable dimorphism. The males exhibit a striking combination of brown on their dorsal side and yellow on their ventral side, accompanied by a slender, elongated snout. On the other hand, the females sport a captivating mottled gray appearance with a flattened leaf-shaped snout, an adaptation that aids in their camouflage. These snakes are patient hunters, often adopting a sit-and-wait approach. They can be seen hanging straight down from branches in a seemingly curious manner. Their diet primarily consists of both arboreal and terrestrial lizards, which they stalk with a captivating display of hooding and swaying. This behavior, coupled with their cryptic color patterns, allows them to mimic the appearance of a vine gently swaying in the wind, further enhancing their chances of capturing prey. When it comes to reproduction, the leaf-nosed snake lays eggs rather than giving live birth. Clutch sizes typically range from 5 to 11 eggs. Although generally calm and averse to biting unless provoked, it's essential to exercise caution, as their venomous bite can cause severe pain in humans, although it is not fatal. Number 4. Tentacled. Discover the remarkable tentacled snake, a unique aquatic serpent found in Southeast Asia. With its intriguing features and hunting prowess, this snake captures the imagination of nature enthusiasts. Measuring between 20 to 35 inches in length, the tentacled snake sports twin tentacles on its snout, a distinctive trait unseen in other snake species. This rear-fanged snake inhabits murky waters, making lakes, rice paddies, and slow-moving streams its home. Its adaptable nature allows it to thrive in fresh, brackish, and even seawater environments. With the Tonle Sap Lake in Cambodia serving as a prime example of its habitat, the snake coexists with a thriving fish population in these waters laden with silt. Although the tentacled snake possesses venomous fangs, it poses no significant threat to humans. The snake's hunting technique showcases its mastery of ambush tactics. By assuming a distinctive upside-down J shape and using its tail to anchor itself, the tentacled snake lies in wait for unsuspecting fish. When a fish ventures within striking range, the snake swiftly propels itself downward, snaring its prey with calculated precision. Through the use of advanced technology, researchers have uncovered the snake's hunting strategy in greater detail. By creating disturbances in the water, the tentacled snake triggers an escape reflex known as the sea start in its prey. Exploiting the fish's reflexive movements, the snake seizes the opportunity and secures its meal. The tentacled snake's captivating behavior doesn't end there. It is uniquely equipped to stay submerged for up to 30 minutes, showcasing its adaptation to an aquatic lifestyle. While its movement on land is somewhat awkward, the snake can burrow into mud during dry periods or at night. Number 3. Sahul Reef Snake The short-nosed sea snake, also known as the Sahul Reef Snake, is a critically endangered species that dwells in the azure reefs off the northern coast of Western Australia. With its slender body reaching up to 24 inches in length, this elusive creature captivates with its small, pointed head and striking purplish-brown bands adorning its form. These enigmatic sea snakes have a penchant for waters deeper than 33 feet, but during daylight hours, they seek refuge under coral overhangs in shallower depths of less than 2 meters. Remarkably, they possess a single cylindrical lung almost as long as their body, allowing them to stay submerged for up to two hours. The sea snakes draw breath at the surface before diving, closing their nostril valves to prevent water intrusion. Oxygen absorption through their skin further aids their survival, necessitating frequent shedding to rid themselves of marine organisms that cling to their delicate scales. Reproduction for the short-nosed sea snake occurs exclusively at sea. Once thought to breed solely on Ashmore Reef, the short-nosed sea snake faced fears of extinction after a long absence. However, recent discoveries suggest the presence of distinct breeding populations in various locations, including the Ningaloo Reef. Nevertheless, uncertainties persist, 
and ongoing research aims to unravel the mystery surrounding these unique sea snakes and determine their true identity. Number 2. Viper or Lovi. Introducing Vipera or Lovi, a captivating species of venomous snake belonging to the Viperidae family. This remarkable serpent is native to the vast and enchanting landscapes of Russia. First identified by esteemed herpetologists Boris S. Tuniev and Sergei V. Ostrovskik in 2001, V. Orlovi emerged as a fascinating discovery in the realm of scientific exploration. With its striking features and intriguing behavior, V. Orlovi thrives within the captivating Caucasus region of Russia. This breathtaking habitat encompasses a diverse range of environments, including lush forests, expansive grasslands, and intricate shrublands, all situated at altitudes ranging from 200 to 950 meters. One of the most captivating aspects of V. Orlovi lies in its unique reproductive nature. This species possesses the remarkable ability of viviparity, giving birth to live young instead of laying eggs. This distinct characteristic sets it apart from other snake species and adds to its allure. V. Orlovi's presence within the ecological tapestry of Russia serves as a testament to the rich biodiversity found within this awe-inspiring nation. Number 1. Sri Lankan Green Vine Snake Discover the captivating Sri Lankan Green Vine Snake, also known as the Long-Nosed Whip Snake. This slender, venomous tree snake is a native species found exclusively on the beautiful island of Sri Lanka. The Sri Lankan green vine snake is an enchanting creature within the Sinharaja rainforest. Active during the day, this arboreal snake relies on its binocular vision to hunt frogs and lizards. It moves slowly, skillfully camouflaging itself amidst the foliage, resembling a vine. When threatened, it expands its body to display striking black and white scale markings. Interestingly, it possesses horizontal pupils, a unique feature among snakes, as most species exhibit vertical slit pupils or round pupils. In terms of reproduction, these snakes are viviparous, giving birth to live young that develop within the mother's body, enclosed in the egg membrane. Fascinatingly, they may also be capable of delayed fertilization, with rare occurrences of parthenogenesis documented in snakes. For example, a female held in isolation at the London Zoo gave birth on August 1888 after being isolated since August 1885. You can find the Sri Lankan green vine snake in low bushes, shrubs, and trees of the lowland forest terrain, up to elevations of approximately 1,000 meters. They are commonly spotted near streams and occasionally near human settlements. While mildly venomous, the exact composition of their venom remains unknown. The venom possesses moderate potency and can cause swelling, pain, bruising, numbness, and other local symptoms. However, these effects typically subside within three days. Bites in sensitive areas such as the head or eyes can be more severe. We hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.